everybody welcome to this video here's Ahmed Nasser from AhmedNasser.com and today just gonna show you the latest update here in 2000 June 2017 we introduced to you the Mandizer in-app purchase 1.2 uh, and this new version is compatible with Unity 5.6 and 5.6 Pro so feel free to use it without any hesitation or restriction so let's just give you this quick tutorial show you how you could import Mandizer in-app purchase into your games and into your Unity projects. Let's do it. First thing I'm here in desktop as you can see I have uh, the Unity 5.6 Pro Edition. You could use the Personal Edition as well. Just gonna double click it here and as you can see we're just gonna launch the Unity window. I'm just gonna create a new window or let me just hit new button and I'm just gonna name a new project AIAP and I purchase I in a purchase IAP 2017 and here we're going to select the location and just gonna choose 2D you can choose 3D and here just put choose organization name and if you want to enable unity analytics you could enable it here as introduced in the unity 5.6 pro edition okay you can turn it off I'm just gonna create project and here we're just gonna be taken into the second screen so this is the hold on screen or the loading screen in unity after that we're just gonna get started with a free and empty project all right here we go so the first thing you need to do here is you have to go to assets import package choose custom package and here I'm just gonna choose the Mandizer in a purchase and this version is introduced in June 2017 the previous version was introduced in January 2016 so there's like year more than one year between the two versions but this is the latest version that we have 1.2 you have to select it and then we just kinda import it into our current project select all the packages you could click all here and click import All right, so we're almost done here. We just imported the resources inside the Unity or the Mandizer project. Here we go. So notice here we just got a bunch of errors. Um, these are not errors, they are warnings. So you could neglect them, you could ignore them by clicking clear. Make sure here that you don't have any errors. So all the time, make sure to import the in-app purchase the Mandizer in a purchase package into an empty project. Make sure all the settings are right with you. If you got an empty screen, you can merge or take the project into your existing project by copying the files or importing Sumla and the Mandizer project into your project. So Sumla is not supported by Sumla again. And we are, uh, as Ahmed Nasser here, I'm providing the future upgrades to this plugin to be compatible with Mandizer project because I developed the Mandizer based on Sumla. Sumla ignored uh, or neglect any future updates so I decided to make Sumla live again and just gonna keep integrating Sumla into the future upgrades future updates from Unity so First, I made Mandazer project based on Unity 5.2. Right now, it's Unity 5.6, and I have a course about this. So I'm not going to throw my course away. 
we're back here so you could again use Joomla and the Mandazer project with your existing previous projects and the upcoming project and this is a great news for all of you guys so yeah this is the first thing you see here folder delete this folder you don't need it and you're just gonna see the Mandazer IP you're just gonna go to the scenes and you go build settings you can see we don't have any scenes you have to copy Control A, Command A on Mac, and select all the files or folders. Just drag them here. Other thing, if you go to the camera, you can see here we have some tags: untag, respawn, splayer. We just we just need to add another tag here called UI button. So make sure all the time to add this tag because sometimes for certain dependencies inside the Mandaz project, it's not gonna work if you don't add this. Uh, packaging it, once exactly once you click or select one of these buttons inside the screen maybe it's not responding because of that so you have to add the UI button okay now we're just gonna go back to the splash screen I just kind of modify to the standard resolution 16.9 you could choose 16.10 as well okay you could change whatever side but you have to do some customization here, just going to choose this, save the scene, and click play. So I'm in splash screen, automatically going to take me to the start scene. Okay, can turn off the music as you can see. Here, I can go and select some of these items. You go to, for example, purchase these items, just going to purchase them because you are um, an editor, you're not going to be navigated to. Um, any PayPal credit card processing okay um, you can see here once you click start just you can add coins you can remove coins you can add lives you can move lives you can increase the level as you can see decrease the level reset the level um, you get this pro dialogue it's also added to the Mandaza project um, you can go to this scene it doesn't have any store this scene got a store here so you can you can see we have a bunch of stuff you can purchase any of these items so yeah we are back to the track guys here with the Mandaza project from Ahmad Stinky Solutions we provide you with this great asset to integrate it to, into your into your games so don't forget guys to leave us a great review don't forget to support us if you want to purchase this latest version you can find the link in the video if you are enrolled in one of my courses you can get this uh, asset from the unity a to z course and from the unity in a purchase course thank you again guys for watching see you another time bye